Hey everyone, it is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, October 3rd. We are intraday right now, and this is our weekly trade ideas video where we bring you some names that we're paying attention to that are on our watch list, stocks that are holding up well, showing relative strength, and just generally aren't too overextended yet that are still actionable and present some opportunity, uh, and hopefully they're a good fit for your strategy, your time frame, and your watch list. So as always, before we jump into the names here, uh, these ideas are powered by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. Uh, we have links in the description of this video if you want to get access to some of the stock lists and curation uh, that they do over there. Now, the first name does come from an IBD list. This is SIVB. It's a financial name. It's a little bit more of a boring name, but it's certainly been a uh, superstar for performance. If we look here on a long-term time frame, you can see this thing has just been uh, crushing it up here, going uh, up into the right, starting from you know sub 100 or right around $100 in 2016 it's now up around $300 and when we look here at just this near-term pattern is really what I'm zoned in on it's had this nice little pullback off of uh, its highs over here and today it's really kind of uh, launching higher I like this gap and go uh, didn't even you know fill where it closed yesterday it just opened up near yesterday's highs and continued to launch higher took out the prior several day highs so I like this candle here it's up four percent it's still range bound longer term. Uh, so I think, you know, for you momentum traders, trend followers that are still looking to get involved in this over 331 or so, that would probably be your pivot. Uh, it has had a strong run, but uh, probably, you know, still presents some at least opportunity here. Looks like we can get a move back up towards these highs. So SIVB, that's the first name there. Nice pattern with today's uh, being sort of a day one move to the upside. Next up is PANW. Again, this is from IBD's list here. And and this one is not ready. It is still kind of uh, pulling back here. But what we'll notice is Palo Alto here has been in a nice uptrend uh, really for 2018. It's had some great performance. And when we zoom in here, we are just off of these all time. These are all time highs for it. It is pulling back, kind of wedging down here, flagging out. And it is clearly not ready yet. But I like the fact that uh, we're getting a nice orderly kind of pullback off of these highs. If we can get you know a similar type of move like we just saw here, SIVB with this nice kind of sharp move to the upside, bring in some volume, take out some prior day highs, that's exactly the type of move here that I would be paying attention to and waiting for for uh, PANW. So keep it on your watch list. It's not ready yet. It totally could fail. It could just roll over and accelerate to the downside. In that case, we're not interested in it, and you know there would there would never be any trigger to actually enter the trade. So PANW, that's number two. Number three, final one from IBD's list is HQY, healthcare se or tech sector health information services uh, for the industry. Uh, it's a uh, mid cap name. It's had tremendous performance here for 2018 as well. And when we look here trading just off of the highs, it is kind of consolidating sideways now. It's had this nice run throughout August. It's taking its time. It's working off this rally here over the past many weeks. And it's uh, digesting that nicely. Not ready yet. Uh, we're getting a move here off of these lows. So maybe if you're you know interested in that kind of lower risk, trying to buy some support, maybe you start with some entry here, you add on a breakout. It all depends on your strategy and time frame. There's too many uh, different ways to approach this type of, uh, or just trading in general, but this type of setup. So I won't, um, you know, I, I won't give you any hard specifics, but it's clearly a name that is, uh, you know, consolidating and setting up for potentially a continuation pattern in this uptrend. Now we got four more names. These come from my watch list here. Next up is uh, iRobot, IRBD. This one here again has been a um, uh, a little bit uh, volatile this year, but uh, overall it is making progress to the upside. It is trading at highs here. If we look at a weekly chart, you can see uh, over the course of 2018, it found some support down here in the 50s and uh, it is now trading just under its highs. And we can see here, we just have a nice consolidation. We got lower highs, higher lows forming here. So some compression coming in after a nice move to the upside. These are the types of things that we like to look at. We like to look for that price compression and we like to uh, watch for those breakouts for that potential 
little trend continuation. Once again, here I'd be looking at over say 116 or so, uh, or if you're you know a little more defensive, you want to wait till we clear to new highs. That would be around 119. So iRobot is uh, another one there to pay attention to. SPR. Uh, so this industrials play here. This one really just getting going again. It could be a leg two move that's just starting here. It kind of had uh, this little uh, whoops, uh, this little mini flag that formed over the past week or so of trading. It launched higher throughout September. It flagged out, and now it looks like it's trying to get going again. There are some prior levels to pay attention to in here, but it looks like uh, you know there's there's a lot of clear sailing. There's a lot of air up here above $95 or so. Could get back to these uh, 2018 highs pretty quickly. So SPR uh, traditionally a little bit of a slower name, but I think we could get some momentum in that name uh, if that strength continues. VRAY uh, here's one that uh, is still consolidating a bit here, but it again is trying to inch itself up. We got good volume coming in today. It's still midday right now, and we're already tracking almost 2x uh, the normal 20-day shares. So lots of volume coming in today. Got a nice move, 6% here. We have a lot of uh, prior just overlap and, and consolidation in this area. So we want to get that follow through over, you know, really 1030 or even 1060 or so to get uh, that green light to really start breaking free here. But I think we got a nice kind of early entry uh, day to pay attention to it today. Finally, we have APO. So this one here, another financial services name, a little bit more of a boring play, maybe a little bit longer of a, of a time horizon on this name, but uh, Apollo here looking interesting as it's perking back up towards these highs here. You almost got some type of, uh, for you pattern traders, uh, a little cup and handle here, or a nice little, uh, at least uh, a small consolidation that it's trying to emerge from here, and it's got to clear above some of these recent pivots, just under $37, but uh, might be a better name for that longer term hold, get that uh, nice trend. Uh, that has uh, been in place for the past couple of years. So that is what we're looking at this week. Hopefully some of these names fit your uh, fit your strategy. Hopefully these are useful. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Thanks as always for tuning in and watching. And I will be back on Friday with our usual weekend market recap video. Thanks so much.